Greetings family, this is Bomani Tamba and welcome to our Africa Tour Conference call March 15th, 2020. And this is for our tours going to Senegal and the Gambia, Ghana, and South Africa. All right, so I'm, what I'm going to do is go to the go to the newsletter that was sent to everyone, uh, which is the same information I also forward to everyone on the uh, email list uh, for the tours. And what I did on this uh, newsletter is I changed the topic. Uh, usually I usually have the same type of topic, and we go through it. But if you scroll down, uh, you'll see a topic list of 1 to 30. And since I can only use uh, one tour to put it on, um, and we're leaving for Senegal April, what I did is I put Senegal and the Gambia. So what I'm going to do is go to our website, for Africa for the Africans.org. All right, and now once we uh, get to the website, you go to the main menu, and you can click on any of the tour links. And in this case, uh, we'll click on Senegal and the Gambia, April 2020. All right, once uh, it opens up, it gives you a list of articles. Uh, so this website is just designed and is more flow for you to look at articles and, and detailed information about the tours. It's not so much about anything else, more than this. Uh, details that we can all operate from. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, the fifth article, it will say departure and reminder list of Senegal and the Gambia routes tour April 2020. Now if you're traveling to Ghana, you just click on the Ghana tour and you're traveling to South Africa, you click on the South Africa tour. And the list of 1 to 30 is based, basically the same sequence, except you'll see your different tour information on there. So what I want to do is go to now go to 1 to 10, and then open up for questions, and then go to the next 10, open up for questions, and then the last 10, and for final questions. That way all the questions are not towards the end. All right, so one, all of the Senegal and the Gambia a tour April 2020 documentation can be found on our website. So the same link information I just uh, mentioned on the main menu is where everyone that's traveling with us, you click on that link, and you'll find 100% of your tour information, the full detailed tour overview, itinerary, uh, general terms. And the general terms uh, give you clarity about cancellations and refunds and things like that. Uh, so that's one of the things I always use the word uh, reschedule, because once you cancel tours, uh, 30 days before we leave, you, li you, get, you have little to no money available for refund, because you're paying all of the people that needs their payment 30 days before we travel. Like none of this can be done at the last minute. And uh, three months before you basically looking at losing half of your money. So uh, the cancellation of anything needs to be way ahead of time to where you just only lose your $400 deposit. Other than that, you're going to lose and more of your money. So I try my best to work it out with people because since you reached out to us about traveling to Africa, our goal is to make sure we do what it takes to get you there. So sometimes it doesn't work out this year, and sometimes situations come up and things happen. I'm one of the people that understand that to a T. So that's why we have a schedule to where we have the four tours throughout the year, and we work sequences of rescheduling or tour transfers. Uh, number two, uh, gratuities. So uh, all tours prior to travel, uh, we just collect uh, $50 group tips. So on the tour overview, that's one of the things that shows that's not included along with your visa you know, and any um, fees that you need to pay for your equipment, like your camera camcorder. What this talks about is the $50 group tips is basically tips that we collect to take care of all the people that take care of us uh, when we travel on the tour and definitely take care more so of our direct uh, people that we deal with, uh, which is a tour guide, a bus driver, and uh, other people that are directly associated with us, moving with us. Uh, three, when you visit, uh, do not come with a romanticized notion about Senegal and the Gambia, whatever African countries or the African continent in general. Uh, you would be disappointed and unnecessarily frustrated. Come with an open mind and an open eye, knowing that Senegal and the Gambia is a developing nation or developing nations. There's much to do, and we can be a great positive, contributory part of it. Keep in mind that Senegal and Gambia is not America or Europe, nor do we want it to be. Uh, we're returning to Mother Africa. We are Mother Africa's children returning home, and we want to be part of Mother Africa growth and development. So it's trying to get everyone to this, 
be positively focused in their mind that you're, you know, even though you may have a nice four-star hotel there in Senegal and the Gambia, uh, you're still dealing with a, a country itself that's in a developing stage and certain things may not be as how you see it in your daily lives based on where you live at. And that may be, all these things may be common sense and things like that, but different people look at things different. So our goal is to go through things as if people have not traveled for and not just expect everyone to know even some of the basic stuff when you're moving around and traveling to Africa. Number four, uh, Delta Airlines e-ticket. So all of our bookings are done um, at Delta Airlines, even though sometimes you're flying on KLM or Air France. Uh, and it's uh, easier for me to deal with um, Delta Airlines than any other airlines available. And their flexibility and the sequence of how they do certain things and the routes that they have are perfect for what we have. So that's what we, we've been doing uh, from uh, day one of uh, 2006. Once we process um, and put you in the system, usually that's 45 days before the tour travels. Your name and everything will be in the system. Uh, deposit already is paid for the routes that you, you, know, you have and deposit are put down right away. That way those things are secure. So once you log in and you check everything and it looks good, and then we get a confirmation back from everyone. That's when we send Delta Airlines your full balance. And the goal is to send it. Uh, the 30 days is the is the mark. And uh, we try to do our best to work it uh, sooner, like 40 days. Uh, so the response from everyone saying that your ticket looks good, your name is correct, your route is good, this simply just our reply back. And uh, and this is specifically for the people that's traveling uh, with us in um, in May for Ghana. Uh, once we get to the point towards the end of the month when we do that, uh, if you see something wrong, not clear, not right about your route or your name, just do a detailed reply and then we'll check it out and make sure everything works out because at that point, anything that needs to be changed, all I have to do is send it back over to group booking and they'll change and fix it. Uh, typos are going to happen. Um, sometimes I'll send name over as certain things and I have no idea how the names are spelled different or wrong, but I deal with it and just let them know that this is not right and this is incorrect. So I'm looking at all of these myself, but I'm also dependent on individuals where it's your ticket, you're used to seeing your name and your your details, so you can tell me if something is not right. And everything has to be matched up with your passport. Your exact name has to show the same way on your ticket and then your same thing, your date of birth. That way you don't have to deal with drama uh, at the airport. And that's your Delta uh, e-ticket. And then uh, another thing, when you since the flights are on sometimes KLM and Air France, you usually have to also log into KLM and Air France. Um, we're going to Senegal in April, and all of our flights are literally on Air France, with the exception of a few flights are on Delta Airlines um, with a few different individuals. Uh, so all of us had to log into Air France and make sure everything looks good on their system also. Uh, so in the email you will receive to check your e-ticket, you'll see two confirmation numbers and. Understand that um, KLM and Air France, your systems are interchangeable, so you can use either website. But Delta system is not uh, interchangeable, either one of them. Delta sometimes will not show the flights on one of the other. Like if you have six flights, you may sh when you log into Delta, it may show three. And that's because they only show the flights that you know, you're booked on their specific airlines, while Air France and KLM show you your full flight booking sequence. Number five, make sure uh, you secure your personal documents, including passport, tickets. Uh, I recommend scan the copy, the email yourself information, and making sure things are on uh, your phone. And just do more than just having a printout. And then if you feel a certain way, you can leave some of that information with your family or friends. Uh, six, please uh, verify all travel documents and have all of them secure for travel date. Uh, so. Like right now, for those of us who are going to uh, Senegal, I sent everyone their, um, their actual ticket receipt uh, to show that your ticket was paid in full. And uh, once you receive that, uh, you can go in there and it's when you add your seats, your meals, and things like that. And you can uh, add your emergency contacts and do all those things. It's a full booking uh, login. Uh, so uh, make sure that everything is perfect for your travel, and especially if you don't eat uh, certain things, uh, make sure you request a special meal. Uh, seven, arrive at airport two to three hours to give yourself enough time to check in and go through security and get onto flights. 
in this situation now for the next two flights, next two tours um, in April and May, recommend getting to the airport three to five hours uh, earlier. Uh, number eight, check bags. Two check bags each with a 50 pound limit per bags. Make sure your bags are secured with locks and name tags. Verify all labeling of bags direct to DSS. And if you're going to Ghana with me, it's ACC for Accra, Ghana. Once you check your bag and, and the agent give you a tag, your tag will say your final destination. That means that that bag, regardless of wherever we connect into it, is going to go directly to that location. So when you get to Amsterdam or Paris, don't go down to the baggage claim, look for your bags, you're not going to find it because it went directly to your final destination. And the only way to verify that is use your ticket receipt. So put your uh, bag receipt with your passport and ticket. Uh, Delta charges $100 for overweight bags of 51 to 70 pounds and $200 uh, for an additional bag. Uh, no bags are allowed over 70 pounds. And no, put all liquids over three ounces in your check bags. Uh, nine, carry on bag. You may carry on one bag and one personal item at no charge. Please note that all items must easily fit into the overhead bin or under the seat in front of you. And 10, uh, when packing luggage, remember that less is better. You will want to purchase more clothing and artifacts to bring back. The biggest recommendation we just recommend is bring uh, school supplies. That's one of the things we always connect, uh, school supplies, toys, um, and, and things for children, and also things that you want to barter and trade with the different people that uh, are going to be selling crap or may show up at a hotel and want to show you what they have. And you know, so that's also um, a way how you can bring enough things in one 50-pound bag and get rid of it, and then you bring back 50 pounds of uh, you know, different things that you collect here in the different countries. And so that is number 10. So we went to 1 to 10 on the departure and reminder list uh, for Senegal and the Gambia. And this is the exact same list for uh, the uh, Ghana tour and also for the South Africa tour. So for those who are flowing for the other tours, you don't have to look at this specific list. You can go to the website and look at the list that we're dealing with. So right now what I want to do is uh, open up for questions and answers. Uh, so I'm going to take us off uh, lecture mode on mute mode, which means that all you have to do is press star six to unmute yourself and then give your name, uh, where you're calling from, and your question. To unmute yourself for questions, uh, we're going through the preparation list. We'll know if anybody have any questions about preparing for the next set of tours that we got going on for 2020. Hi, Bomani, it's Kim. I have a quick question about the clothes. Um, uh, we're supposed to bring black and red and another color, right? Uh, if you're going to Ghana with me, uh, the colors are red, black, green, and gold, um, which is what we wear at the Ancestor Day. Um, number two at a Sin Manso, or Ancestors to the Last Bath. So it's okay, a combination. So you can wear all black, all red, all green, all gold, or just a combination. It's all good. Okay, that was my question. Should it be all of the same color, monochrome or not? Yeah, you can just mix it up. Uh, like the previous pictures that you know, you'll see some of you'll see the pictures that we have where people are wearing a different combination and just give, uh, give us a vibrant energy. And then the, um, okay. the other uh, ancestor day when we go to the uh, African Holocaust dungeons, Cape Coast, we're wearing uh, all white. Okay, thank you. Absolutely. All right, Kim, I got you back on mute. Um, next person. All right, let me put everybody in uh, lecture mode again, and then unless somebody have a question. And once you're in lecture mode, uh, it won't allow you to unmute yourself. Uh, it'll give you like a crazy cue, but um, the cue is more problematic than anything else. So I just usually just put us back in um, mute mode where you can press star six to unmute yourself. All right, so does anybody have any questions before I go to the next 10? All right, 11, uh, we just talked about this for the questions. Uh, bring a set of red, black, green, and gold clothing to pay homage to our ancestors. Red, black, green, and gold combination for Ancestor Day for our visit uh, to uh, Gori Island. Uh, so just like our visit to uh, Asin Manso uh, there in Ghana in the central region, uh, this is the similar connection that we have here in this one. At 12, 
Bring any school supplies you can donate to the children of Senegal and the Gambia. This includes books, bags, papers, pencils, calculators, clothing, etc. We're also collecting uh, black doll babies for young children at the school and orphanage. 13, Senegal and the Gambia tour April 3rd group. 8.30 p.m. meetup and greet at Atlanta Airport uh, International Terminal. Paris departure gate. Uh, uh, once you get uh, to Atlanta, ask the Delta agent to uh, direct you to the Paris departure gate. And you also see all that information on your ticket. Uh, our flight will depart at 10.49 p.m. and arrive the next day at 1.10 p.m. in Paris, uh, France, April 4th. Group 2.45 p.m. meet and greet at CDG Paris Airport. Flight depart at 4.40 p.m. and arrive later in the night at 8.25 p.m. in DSS Senegal. So all that is talking about uh, is just a designated uh, meetup for all tours. So all tours will have a destination where all of us, where all of the flights connect. Uh, so if you go to South Africa with us, all of the flights connect to Atlanta and we we'll have a, the final meetup point where we just all connect before we uh, get to the country. Um, if you're traveling to Ghana with me, the meetup point is in Amsterdam. And if you're traveling to Senegal, the meetup point is in Paris, France. Uh, so that's what number 13 is saying. And, um, yeah, and then it has the same sequence based on your flight schedule. So all of those things are coordinated to make, let everyone understand clear about the times and that way the times are on your mind. 14, bring any necessary medicine that you might need. Uh, 15, camera slash camcorder, bring extra film or memory card and rechargeable batteries. If you have electronics, bring a converter, foreign adapters, and an extension cord. Unlock iPhone or Samsung Galaxy so you can set up your mobile SIM card and, a, and we can assist you with your mobile network. So that's only for those who are literally looking to just use the, the network there in the country and just have your own network. So some, so what I carry, I carry this unlock, um, like an AT&T unlock phone. So when I go to different countries, I may get a SIM card. And then what I do is uh, I purchase uh, mobile minutes and then I just set up the data that I purchase to this and create a, the, a Wi-Fi hotspot on my, um, my unlock phone to where my U.S. phone and my laptop, I can connect to that network. So I have a more dedicated wireless network, especially if I'm on the bus moving around or I'm in my room trying to do some business. Mm -hmm. So that's all I'm saying. It's not saying that everyone should buy an unlocked phone and bring it. I travel all the time to international, so I'm always getting these phones, and it, it, it works out good. Uh, but the best thing I can recommend for everyone is this. When you get to the hotel, you connect to the Wi-Fi and use your apps like WhatsApp, um, Messenger, email, and things like that. Uh, 16, uh, Travel iron, alarm clock, plastic bags, compact umbrella, waterproof poncho, and other travel uh, accessories. Mm -hmm. You're going to be gone for 10 to 12 days, so the best thing I recommend is just think about these things and then just pack them accordingly in you know, your bag. Uh, I have one bag that's more of my uh, equipment bag and you know, things like that are in that bag. Uh, 17. Mosquito spray or repellent or cinchonella oil, which is an excellent repellent. Avoid wearing scented lotions or oil. Mosquitoes like sweet smell. No, most of these sprays have dangerous chemicals, so do your research for the safest thing to use. 18, uh, calculator for basic things like currency exchange. Uh, the current exchange rate for one, uh, one US dollars equals 596 safer. Um, or a CFA franc. And then uh, also, um, when it comes to the Gambia, uh, $1 equal uh, 50 uh, Gambia dollar cs uh, So that's uh, the exchange rate. One is 1 to 50, and one is 1 to 596. You know, you figure when you're trying to calculate a bunch of money and things, uh, you're going to need that uh, calculator because it gets a little confusing after a while. Uh, but that's what you have to deal with when you're in Senegal and the Gambia. It's two separate currency. Uh, 19, uh, bring as much cash as you think you need. Recommend bringing like $400 to $800. Bring a Visa card to access the ATM machine. And MasterCards are not always recommended, but uh, you can still bring a MasterCard. You just have maybe not as many options as uh, a Visa. And main thing or the most important thing is for you to make sure you call your bank 
for that card and let them uh, know that uh, you'll be using your card to access uh, international currency. So this will prevent your account from being locked and save you time from calling your bank uh, from Africa and getting um, your bank to unfreeze your account. If you fail to make the call, you fail to make the call, your card may work once or twice, and then after the second time it, or third time, it just may not work. Uh, that's also a situation. So it's all about us being prepared and uh, getting everything ready. Uh, 20, the weather is going to be in the low 70s to mid 80s and maybe hotter, like tropical countries like uh, Jamaica or tropical areas like um, uh, Florida or just anywhere uh, tropical. But I uh, recommend just bring in light clothing, sandals, shorts, uh, walking shoes, uh, sundress, tank tops, uh, swimwear because we are by water and also pools at the uh, hotel. Casual slash African clothing for certain nightlife and evening events like business networking and just welcoming farewell dinners. Uh, so you just tell everyone to just kind of pack a variety of things and, uh, and then you can just base it on itinerary and also you can just base it on looking at some of the pictures and videos that we have. Alright, so family, that is uh, 1 to 20. I'm going to uh, put everybody back in mute mode and just press star 6 to unmute yourself in this situation. Alright, so family, line is open for questions. Uh, we just went to um, the last 10. So right now, went to 1 to 20 from the departure and reminder list. Alright, uh, who am I speaking to? This is Kim. Oh, greetings, Kim. For lunch. We, we're on our own for lunch, but will you be taking us to some place where we can purchase our lunch? And if so, what's the average cost of the places that we'll be going to? Uh, lunch, I would say um, anywhere from uh, 8 to $12 or 8 to $15. Uh, it just all depends on what you order on the menu. We're looking at 8 uh, to $12 uh, for our lunch. And uh, doing the travel... Um, during lunch, uh, we usually just make an announcement and communicate with everyone, but the goal is to take you somewhere where you can get flexible to order for lunch based on your diet. We have a list of everyone's diet, so usually where we bring you is somewhere where you can you know, just order what you want. And if you want to order things more locally, then you can uh, you have that uh, option there. But uh, dinner is a, a gourmet dinner, but when we do some of the smaller tours, we usually just take you to a restaurant, and then you just order at the restaurant, and since we're staying at a five-star hotel, well, this is for Senegal and the Gambia, uh, you'll be able to um, eat uh, at the, um, the restaurant also at the hotels uh, so in, in a buffet style or order your food. But for Ghana, what we have for the most part, for most of the days, is this um, gourmet dinner based on everyone's uh, diet. So we have uh, food for vegetarians, uh, vegan, along with uh, people who eat meat and fish. Did you have another question? Or did I no, think? that was it. That was it. Thank you. All right, excellent. As family, the line is open for questions. Star six to unmute yourself. Uh, give your name, where you're calling from, your question. Greetings, Bamani. This is Sheila again. I just have a question in regards to the calculator. It's not a special calculator that we need. I can just use the one on my phone. Uh, any kind of calculator will work. Uh, what you're doing is this... Uh, it, it, it's just helping you understand the, the currency exchange, especially when you're looking at, you know, you have 100 U.S. dollars and you're trying to see what it looked like in, in, a, in, the, in that currency. Okay. Thank you. And excellent. Hey, Bomani. This is Sean. Hey, green, Sean. Yeah, just to harken back on what the previous caller said, I actually have an app that's really good um, um, to use. It's called Oanda. It's called. It's spelled O A N D A. It's a real. It's an app that you could you could purchase off your app store. That's really good to use for a currency converter. Yeah, pre- yeah appreciate that. And if you don't mind, you can post it on one of our group pages, and um, I'll just forward it over to other group pages on WhatsApp. All right, so family, uh, that's one of the things you can also use alongside a calculator. Like uh, what Sean was saying is, um, you, you can use any of the different apps uh, for a currency exchange. All right, let me put everybody back in lecture mode and uh, I'll complete the last uh, 10 um, from 21 to 30 and then uh, open up for final questions and then we can just move from there. 
21, uh, no photo taken allowed at airports, state office buildings, and other government facilities. Your film will be confiscated, and you could be arrested. Not saying that's going to naturally happen. This, uh, this, you know, you can, usually you can get away with a lot of things with your phone, but when you have these big cameras, camcorders, and things, and start snapping and doing things, it draws attention. Uh, so just try to be discreet if you need to just get shots of certain things. But when we're driving on a tour bus, and we let you know that uh, no photo taken of whatever we have coming up. Just keep in mind, whenever we give that note, just hold whatever down. That way, there's no drama. So you, you know, when you're traveling with us and we drive now, whatever country we use, you will let you know ahead of time, enough time to where you don't have to, you know, where you just keep your equipment down. And especially if we're in Ghana and driving around the American embassy, uh, they're they're crazy. You know, they will they'll stop our bus. Uh, where they're taking pictures and doing things, uh, you know, and they have these big signs that say no photography around the entire embassy. 22, uh, after tour does not offer travel insurance, but it can be purchased from an independent insurer. Passport Health is one of the companies that uh, have locations in different parts of the United States that offer travel and health insurance. Few of our group members in the past from Atlanta have used their services. It's uh, Passport healthusa.com. So that's number 22. You just click on a link and it can just connect you with the different information. And in general, if you're looking to get um, travel insurance, which is one of the things I always recommend, just uh, do your research to get what you need to get. And, and you know, whenever you receive a ticket, uh, I don't know if they want you to add your information, your ticket information or so on, but uh, just do your best as far as the research information. 23, uh, toiletries including toilet tissues, soap, feminine napkins, wet wipes, facial tissues, washcloths, beach towels, and laundry soap. Uh, so all those things and just anything that deals with this, you being clean and cleaning your hands and this, so on, just bring what you feel like you may need so you don't have to worry about going to the mall or or taking time away from your tour to look for supplies. 24, the people of Senegal and the Gambia are very friendly. However, be wary of people who just want to make quick money off you and make promises they cannot keep. You should know as much as possible about the people you're planning to do business with. And that's just always my quote-unquote recommendation in all cases. Everyone of us needs to be clear about who we're doing business with and put things in perspective. Uh, a lot of times you go to these wonderful countries and people want to sell you a dream. Uh, sometimes it's like people saying that I'm royalty, I'm a king, I'm a queen, I'm this, I know the president, I know this person. And they'll say a bunch of things and everything, uh, but we just have to use our street smarts like how we are in the States and the things that we wouldn't go for, don't go for it anywhere else. Uh, 25, uh, games for leisure, uh, time including social gatherings, deck of cards, dominoes, chess, and general board games. Uh, sometimes when we're out at a more low-key area, we may not necessarily do anything in the nighttime out, and we just made us you know, lot, you know, just get the, the bar to play some music, and just you know, we, and we just get tables ready, and we just do cards, dominoes, and so on, and just have a good social time. So the tours that we have set up is just a, a complete energy of social connection. 26, uh, emergency items, uh, a flashlight, basic uh, first aid kits, laxative, Pepto-Bismol, uh, decondescent anti-diarrhea, and any related emergency medicine or materials. Uh, note that these medicines are all not natural, so do your research on the safest things to bring. Uh, 27, please focus on enjoying yourself and accomplishing uh, your mission. Do not get distracted by others or get caught up into complaining. This is an experience that we have. It's ups and downs. It's a part of your introduction to Senegal and Gambia slash Africa. We recommend that you go with the flow and enjoy your time in paradise around the wonderful itinerary that we have put together on this journey of a lifetime. Uh, 28, remember to bring any medicine that you may need. Do your research on any needed vaccination you may need to get. We have no recommendations, so you may need to talk to your doctor. I'm one of the people that have no recommendations 
for any vaccination. And whenever they come up with this corny virus vaccination, I'm not taking it. So best thing I can tell people is I'm going to explain to everybody in the next clip after I finish this list before we open up for questions, uh, which is to build your immune system. At 29, uh, when you get to baggage claim in Senegal, get your own free card and put your bags on it. And just make sure that um, you have your check bag receipt for all of your bags uh, and make sure all these numbers match up in case you're being checked by one of the officers to make sure that you have your bag. And the goal is uh, once we all get our bags and get together, we just send our tour guide a message, let them know we're ready, and then you'll be waiting for us right at the uh, entrance, yeah, uh, right when we uh, exit. Uh, 30, uh, bring uh, things that uh, will help you make uh, this moment of connecting to the land of the ancestors special. So if you really want to bring uh, candles, if you want to bring um, a picture of an ancestor, or, the, or just anything that you may think in your mind or feel uh, will just complete your reconnection because all of these tours um, are just deep-hearted, our uh, roots and culture tour. For the most part, like sitting around Gambia, we're going to places of, of African Holocaust, same thing as Ghana and South Africa. Uh, similar, but uh, it's more modern. Uh, so, and it's just a uh, good time to reflect back on the struggles of you know, a our ancestors and how we got here, and you know, the work that we have to do to continue to this be strong as a people. That's um, can be worked out based on the individuals. Some people have different situations. Some people have ancestors in their jar with the ashes that they want to bring to the motherland and bury them in the motherland. Uh, so that's. Um, you know, one of those things where if you want to do that, I would say do that, and then we'll, you know, we'll work it out for you when you get there. And it's one of the things that, um, like, uh, like Cape Coast and Elmina Holocaust Dungeons, are one of those locations where people have done a lot of different things, and it's a, it's a deep spiritual connection. So we're always open to making sure that, you know, you can have your connection as you need it, because it's a long way to go, you know, to travel, and we want to make sure that, you know, you're able to just get those experiences. And so that's the 30, uh, list of 30 things, and we're just hoping that all those things are helpful and just help you pack and organize your travel better. So I'm going to click back on the, uh, the tour link uh, for Senegal and the Gambia. Um, once I click back on, on the main menu, it loads back up and it shows you all of the articles. So the one that we're going to look at is the one at the end, and it's the same for the other tours. It's called Improving Your Immune System. And so it is a long list of wonderful information, the immune system. So it talks about the immune system and the different things that we can eat and different ways you can just build up your strength and energy. Uh, so that's what I would recommend versus shooting vaccinations and shooting poison into our bodies that none of us know what's in any of these vaccinations. I'm not trying to cause any problems with anybody in the pharmaceutical industry or anything, but it's like we have to look at our own health and things. Most of the medicine that's created around the world is for sick, evil white people that are dying um, where I'm from in Jamaica, we, we don't get sick like that. You know, the you know, blood of our ancestors keep us strong and everything in the country from the coconut water to the mangoes to natural medicine to the you know, river water, you know, it's all there to make us strong. Uh, like most of the people in my family don't, didn't start getting sick and having issues until they came to America. But nevertheless, it's you know, what it is. But what I'm explaining is that even when you go to a country like Ghana, you just drink a lot of coconut water and things like that. You know, some people pop in malaria pills and they, you know, they have their fresh shot of uh, yellow fever and things like that. If that's what you want, that's fine. But, you know, we're also here to educate people about what we know and we know for sure that you practicing natural health saves you from a whole lot of drama. You corrupting your body with uh, vaccinations and pills kill you faster than you imagine. And also, no one has to take my word for any of this thing. I am not a medical doctor. I'm just someone that just learned how to take care of himself and been in good health and strength all my life. So, family, that is uh, it for our preparation, health, and wellness. So, I'm welcoming all and every question uh, anyone may have, uh, even people, even if people still have more questions about coronavirus and our travels. I'm fine. Um, I'm just want to open things up for 10 minutes of questions. So I'm going to put everybody back in the uh, mute mode where you can press star six to unmute yourself. All right, perfect family. Um, mute mode is on, press star six to unmute yourself. Give your name, where you're calling from, your question. So I guess everybody asks all their questions and have all their concerns answered at the beginning of the call. So I guess that was a good thing to do, just knock it out at the beginning, that's what I figure. 
I, anything that changes within the next week or so, I'm sure you'll keep us up, updated. This is Debbie from Maryland. Are you on the WhatsApp group page? Well, I'm just on the page. It's just showing me everything that's going on the tours. And, and but yeah, I am on the, um, like, anything that comes through, yeah. I am on that website. Yeah, it's uh, all right, perfect. So all of us are on there, so I just want to make sure everybody sees the message. So, yeah, that's my quickest way to send anyone a, a message and so on. And then the other way is just to send an email. So that is um, really it. But I'm preparing myself. I'm going to be finishing up our tour book uh, for us to leave and everything um, April 3rd. If anything changes, um, and then we'll have a, a general update like every five days or so, where we just communicate with each other what's going on. And anybody finding okay. new evidence and new information, I recommend us post it in the page and we talk about it. Like, if, like example, if, if I call and then the tour guide tell me that um, the Senegal airport is shut down, no flights coming in, no flights coming out, then that's the quickest next, that, then I'll just post that message to the family. It don't look good. Uh, and then if anyone hears anything, uh, like the Ghana president just posted a video right before I got on this call, I was able to listen to it, and he said he's shutting his country down for 30 days. But in that case, they still have certain flights, so you know, that's another thing. So the 30 days, um, hopefully everything is clear for all of our folks going to Ghana. But uh, Senegal is the one that, only one that's, uh, that's a worry. All right, perfect, family. I went through 30 of the departure reminder list, and then just give you a brief introduction into the billion immune system. I don't know if anybody has any questions about any of those details. And if not, then the main thing is that's information for preparation. All right, so I guess everybody who called in today only called in the reference to the craziness that's going on. So, well, I guess it's all good. So, family, if you need any other information about the tour, it's all there on the website. Other than that, everyone, you take care of yourself, and um, I'll keep everyone posted in group chats and email in reference to their tours and everything. And anyone who needs to send me an email, send me a detailed email about whatever the situation is, and I'll give you a detailed reply back. And also, you can use the WhatsApp. Um, you know, you can send private messages to me on WhatsApp outside of the group pages, uh, if, especially if it's not directly relevant to post in the group page. So family, once again, this is Bomani Tamba, uh, your tour leader and tour organizer for your Africa tours. Everyone take care, and I'll be on standby for anyone's uh, communications. All right, peace, brother. Thank you, Ramani. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ramani. Right, everybody, have a great evening. Thank Let's you, Ramani. Let's pray. Things everybody work out. Have a great evening. <laughs> okay.